Dad's saying it. <laughs> Becky, you can actually see yourself on the thing. I just did a live stream now. Yeah. Okay, live stream, live stream, live stream. Okay. Maddie's going off. Who's Maddie? My best friend. <laughs> Couple more seconds, Becky, we're almost ready. Okay, everybody, this is Becky Lee from Little Swan something, 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 out of the bush somewhere. And she's here to prove that she's not soft cover like the rest of the Camerons, especially that huge Cameron, I'm a new Cameron, who cried and cried and cried and went there, lots of sandbags with people tea from flooding Tasmania. Yeah, Becky, was meant to get a um, thing for her mum and dad. Did you that freeze? Yeah, that's freeze. Damn, you did freeze on that bloody thing. I know a lot of people that really like it. I know a lot of people that hate it. Like chocolate. Some, to some people, it, it tastes really good, and to other people, it makes them have explosive diarrhea. So that, that, that's what I, that's how I think of this film. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. I respect the risk that Johnny Depp took here, but I like Corpse Bride much, much more. It's a fabulous Tim Burton stop-motion animation, pure Burton. Johnny Depp did it because he loves the art of stop-motion, and, and it's, just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Look at that, it's, it's so, so Tim Burton-y. And he was also hard at work filming two pirate sequels at once, Dead Man's Chest and At World's End. I remember liking Dead Man's Chest alright, but I was totally over the franchise by the third one. But these movies make so much money that it doesn't matter what I think, they're just gonna keep making them and making them and making them, and they did. Just like real piracy, it never ends. And we cannot forget Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street, another Burton movie. Johnny wasn't exactly sure if he had the singing chops to handle this film, but he tried it anyway, and he did and earned another Oscar nomination. Watch this film, you'll have a bloody good time! He did another great guest appearance on a cartoon show, this time it was Spongebob, and he joined the cast of the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, taking over the late great Heath Ledger's unfinished role, with the help of Colin Farrell and Jude Law. Then he did the gangsta thing again, and played John Dillinger in Public Enemies. I really like this film, but the digital camera work is very distracting. It takes you out of the time period in what would otherwise be a very terrific film. I really like Michael Mann's style, and it works in modern settings like Collateral and Miami Vice, but the obvious digital image it just doesn't work in a film set in the 30s. And even though the performances are superb, at times it feels like a dress rehearsal. And, and I know I'm being harsh, but, but I need to be. I can't just go through every film and be like, this was good, this was good, this was good, this was good. I can't say that everything he did was perfect, because that's not what film criticism is. The year 2010 took Alice to Wonderland, with another Tim Burton movie. He played the Mad Hatter, and this was another box office smash hit. The character design is amazing, the costumes, the makeup, and Johnny, of course, is having a blast. But it was a little too much for me. Maybe it was the 3D, maybe that extra dimension overwhelmed me, but it's just, it's just not my favorite. But, but who cares what I think? This sucker made a lot of money, like a billion, billion dollars. With a B. Then he did The Tourist, which should have been a hit, but it wasn't. It had the two biggest movie stars in the world teaming up on a sexy adventure, but no, nobody went. It was a big failure. Nobody, nobody, nobody cared. There was no chemistry between Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie, and this film almost represents, like, the death of the movie star. The age of the movie star was, was ending. And was it Johnny Depp's fault? Sure, why not? Then he should be proud of that. And this was also the first sign that Johnny Depp was maybe not as powerful as we believed. But he finally found his perfect cartoon alter ego in Rango. He really shines as this reptilian cowboy. And it's not just Johnny's voice, no, 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 this lizard is all Johnny. In order to truly capture the movement and the spirit of the characters, the actors actually acted out the action while recording the audio. Just Rango, it's such a good movie. Johnny Depp, he's a lizard? It's a western? Full of critters? It's just fun stuff. Then came Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. It's another Pirates movie. I'm sure it's fine, but they all start to blend together to me, so I, I, I can't even tell you if this is a good one or a bad one, because they, they're all just... they're all just there. I love the first one. I love Johnny Depp's performances, don't get me wrong. I, I just can't keep them straight. He then took a big sip of The Rum Diary. This film allowed him to channel Hunter S. Thompson once again. And he met his future wife, slash arch nemesis, Amber Heard. We'll get to that later. And as you know, Johnny Depp hated working on 21 Jump Street. But he still made a magnificent cameo appearance in the Channing Tatum version of 21 Jump Street. It was perfect. Perfect timing, just the right amount of cameo-ness. The art of the cameo was very tricky, and they handled it well in this one. This cameo is actually very symbolic of how far Johnny has come in his career. He started out as the young hotshot, and now he's an experienced veteran, covered with disguise makeup. Yeah. Is it Jump Street? Yeah, yeah. That's funny, because we were actually Jump Street. What? That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Most of Johnny Depp's best work is with Tim Burton, but that doesn't mean that every time that Johnny Depp and Tim Burton team up, it's gonna be perfect movie magic. No, sometimes they're not great. No, sometimes they even suck. Like a vampire sucks blood. I'm sorry, I really, really tried to like Dark Shadows, but it just, it just wasn't my thing. It seems like it could have been the perfect Tim Burton film. Humor just... Becky Lee Cameron. Oh, stay, stay, stop oh. taking video! Um, only two hours, the first ever Teddy. She's done really, really well. Super detailed roses and the moon and some stars. There you go. At least she's not a soft cock little princess like her little sister, Hugh Cameron, who's got a huge head made out of cement. 
But I thought like no brain, no pain, but it didn't work in whose case, they just look like a bitch. Sorry Tommy, um, what's Tom's last name? Taylor. I mistook you for that big girl, so I bagged out the wrong boy today. Oops. Hopefully Tom don't stay out and can't cry all day. There you go with that.